Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Colleen and I'm so excited because I feel like spring is probably one of my favorite seasons to just really get dressed up and just fix up my wardrobe and it's probably one of the most exciting seasons. If you guys live in Canada, you guys know exactly what I mean when I say we are so quick to just switch gears and switch our outerwears and i think outerwear can really just make or break an outfit outerwear and just adding that third piece to your outfit is just very important i don't know about you guys but lately i've been a little bit lazy with how i'm dressed so when i go to work i'm literally just wearing the bare minimum and okay not the bare minimum i just don't feel as motivated but um with the help of some of these pieces they have been making it a lot easier to dress and wear certain things out so if you guys are interested in seeing what my spring outerwear pieces are then just keep watching so starting off with the first piece um i have worn this jacket almost every day since i've gotten it and i got this one actually back in november i cannot go wrong with this one. This is the coach's jacket from Aritzia and it's kind of just like a coach's jacket. It's just a collared little windbreaker and it is probably one of my favorite jackets that I own because it just has a very laid back feel to it. It just looks really really good on almost every silhouette, every body shape and just flatters everyone really really nicely. I actually got the black one last year at the end so in your November was when it came out and it came out with with a cobalt blue and this black one. Of course, I went for the black one because black is just my favorite color to wear, um, but the blue one was very, very nice as well, and I think it went on sale for a short period of time. They came out with like a sage green, this tan color that is so beautiful. I'm definitely, honestly, contemplating on getting another one in a different color because of how much I wear the black, so we will see what happens with that. The sleeves have a cuff in here, and I'm so grateful because my wrists are very, very slim so when I wear jackets that have like a looser arm it just makes it look like it's swallowing me and it just looks disproportionate and it also has a jawstring on the inside so that you can um, adjust it to um, how big or how slim you want the jacket to be fitting in the coach's jacket I got a size one which already has a very very oversized fit and they come in one two and three and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger but the idea and look of it is to be an oversized windbreaker it also just kind of gives like a varsity effect which is my next one that I just wanted to share with you guys I don't have a varsity City jacket but varsity jackets and just any kind of letterman jacket is so nice especially for the spring if you have like a bolder color you can definitely thrift to them i've seen so many at the thrift shop i think at some like other retail stores are actually coming out with renditions of it but even on depop if you aren't able to go to a thrift shop you can buy it on depop and get it shipped out to you the next one is a ultra light down jacket from uniqlo it doesn't really say what the style is and I honestly can't really pinpoint what the style would be called. I think it's called a bomber. This is probably one of my favorite jackets right now. It kind of reminds me of like a refrigerator type of jacket. This one from Uniqlo, they had a sage green one and I thought was so adorable. I was so close on getting that one instead, but I felt like the white color or the beige color would just go more with everything in my closet. If you do have a variety of different jackets in your closet, I would highly suggest getting that color. But I just like this because it's super light. You don't need to worry about grabbing another sweater or anything underneath because it's a down jacket it also came with a little bag here so you can kind of just slip the jacket in here if you'd like to i see so many people with like bubble jackets and i can't like i no. So I am gonna pass on that, but I'm gonna wear this one for sure. But I feel like I can see myself wearing it in the fall. The next one, I actually got a pen mark on when I was working. So this is the Ghana jacket in the leather. I feel like leather button-ups, they have just been in since the fall time, but I'm noticing a lot of places are coming out with like colored ones, a baby blue, more muted colors like pastel pinks and just pastels in general, and lighter colors because I feel like in the fall time Aritzia came out with just like the neutral browns and the black. I'm excited to see that they're coming out with a white one. I'm trying to get into lighter colored jackets. It's nice to have 
little bit of a change in the outfit but this one the usual Ghana jacket but the leather instead it has the button down I never button it up really because I just like how it looks when you kind of just throw it on um, over something very casual like a pair of jeans and a crop top or whatever the case is I just think it's such a cute piece I got this one in an extra small and the cuffs have a little button here as well this jacket is such a staple piece for the springtime because it can keep you warm you can lay it over like a hoodie or like some kind of tracksuit you can also layer it with some kind of crop top as like I explained with the previous jacket I love the color and it's so spring and I have been wearing it a lot to work actually and it just kind of elevates the outfit that you're wearing very very much so so my jackets, I hope I've been trying to keep it as versatile because I feel like these types of jackets and their style can be found any, at any retailer, at any thrift shop. The next one is a new pickup of mine. I got the Agency Blazer and believe it or not, I don't have a lot of blazers. I have one that I share with my sister and it's my black one. I decided to get a colored one this is just a beige agency blazer and this is in the color taupe beige and i got it in an extra small because i heard that the fit is a little bit more fitted i'm not too sure how i like this but i really do just want to look for a really good blazer let me know what you guys think in the comments down below when i show you guys how it looks on but i feel like the shoulders were a little too broad for me but i don't know maybe it's just all in my head and i'm not too used to wearing blazers but i love the color i feel like beige kind of um not sweatsuits suits are always going to be a staple i think out of all of the things that i've shown you guys today it would have to be the blazer that you guys need it's a must you can absolutely wear with a pair of jeans you can wear it as a full set if you find a matching pair or you can even just wear it with like the divinity jumpsuit that aritzia has i've seen some people do that it kind of gives like a Hailey bieber vibe overall i just love the look of a blazer and especially this color just Hailey Bieber vibes and we'd love to see it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video I put together for you guys. Let me know what your staple outerwear piece is for this season. I would love to know whether it's in my video or in your wardrobe, whatever the case is. I post every Thursday, so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel to see my next one. And I do hope to see you guys there next week. If you guys like my content on here as well, make sure you guys are following me on my Instagram. It'll be on either side here and yeah so i hope you guys have an amazing weekend and i love you guys thank you so much for your feedback in my previous video as well very grateful that my platform was used for that and that you guys feel supported because that's all that i want on my channel so yeah i'm sending you all my love and i will see you guys in my next one bye she says she the one i bet she thinks she is Stand on high, no trust, I don't know where you been I need a break On breaks